Hey Wanderers, Prepared Wander in the Man Cave, and I've got a very interesting video for you today. We're going to be talking about food. Who doesn't love food, right? But particularly, <clears throat> I want to talk about emergency preparedness, um, prepping food, storing food, um, but also using it for camping too, because I think it, it kind of crosses over several different areas of preparedness and having stocks of stuff that you can access quickly and can cook easily um, to give you nutrients and calories in times of emergency or just for going out camping. Uh, this is stuff that I've been putting together, that I store. I'm gonna show you everything that's on this table, talk about it, and uh, give you some ideas and maybe some things that you can pick up um, at your grocery store or your local big box. So stick around, it's gonna be a great video. Um, it should be pretty fun. So what I've been doing for years is keeping a, a couple of, of containers filled with food um, that is packaged food that I can cook easily. I can prepare on a small stove um, that takes very minimal um, ingredients, usually just water. And uh, these are items that I rotate through throughout the year. So what I mean by that is um, I will utilize items that are getting ready to expire quickly. I'll use those first and then I'll replenish those with trips to the grocery store and add more items later. So it's a rotating stock. Um, that's really important, of course, when you're doing this kind of preparation. You don't want to just uh, dump it in a, in a container and then forget about it because things do expire. Some items don't expire as easily as others, but when we're dealing with things such as meat, um, they do have expiration dates. You de do need to pay attention to those and they will make you sick. Um, I've experienced it and it's not fun so okay we're gonna start down on this end of the table uh, with some of, of the staple items that I stock up on so first thing that's super important to me um, is coffee and um, this is a product that I found actually uh, by recommendation from Dave Canterbury on his channel um, of this uh, Copico uh, brown coffee. And what it is is it's an instant coffee that has cream and sugar in it already. Um, it's very good. Um, it's not the strongest coffee in the world. Uh, sometimes I have to doctor it up a little bit, but um, it's, it's easy to make. It doesn't uh, require me storing creamer um, or having a lot of extra sugar. So I have a big bag of these. I got these off of Amazon. Another item that is super um, easy to get in the stores um, is some peanut butter. And um, either you, keeping a big container in your, in your preps is good, but for travel, um, I like these little to-go cups from Jif. Um, they keep a very long time. Of course, peanut butter has a very long shelf life and uh, peanut butter is great because it's packed with protein, which is such an important thing to have um, when considering uh, stocking up on food is having protein. And you can put this on bread, crackers, tortillas, bagels, or eat it just right out of the cup. So I always have a bunch of these. Um, another item, that I suggest getting is some type of sweetener. Uh, this is stevia. This is the organic stevia in the raw. Um, keeps a very long time. And um, I keep this because you never know when you need to sweeten other stuff. Um, I also have regular coffee that I'll show you here in a minute. And uh, it's just good to have a package of some sweetener. So I keep that in my box. And then kind of an interesting item. Um, I just got these uh, for my birthday. Someone gave these to me, but these are the uh, flavored syrups that you add to coffee, and I guess you can get these in the little bottles now. So I didn't know that. <clears throat> um, but another great option for flavoring drinks and coffee. So I've got a couple of those stored up. And then we get into an item or a couple items that I just absolutely love. Some people love them, some people hate them. Now, 
before I get into this stuff, I will say that a lot of the stuff, that all this stuff is pre-packaged. Um, it tends to be high in sodium. Um, it tends to be high in calories sometimes. So it's not the best stuff, but I'm not eating this every day. This is emergency rations or it's only because I'm going to go out camping one or two nights and I'm going to take a few of these things out of here to use um, to get out of my rotation. Um, but it's not stuff I'm eating every day. So and nutrition, of course, is very important. Um, but when it comes to having calories for emergencies, uh, calories are calories. It doesn't matter. You need them. Salt is not necessarily a bad thing um, if you're drinking a lot of water. So um, ramen is a great item because it stores a very long time. There are lots of different flavors. That's one of my favorites. You can add stuff to it. And what I like to add to ramen are things like Spam. And I get the singles that comes in the foil packs. I like to add tuna. There is some Starkiss Tuna Creations. That's the spicy Korean style. I just picked that one up recently. Haven't tried it yet. Looks pretty good. Um, also, uh, chicken. You can get packages of chicken. There's teriyaki chicken from Starkist as well. And then here's an interesting item that I picked up at Walmart. This is the great value line. This is pulled pork and barbecue sauce. So all that can be added to a soup like ramen, or it can be eaten just out of the package or put on a tortilla or crackers. So you got that option. Um, another item that I like to stock up on are condiments and particularly hot sauces. So I will collect and save different types of hot sauces and condiments from fast food or if I see them at stores or convenience stores I'll pick up some if I if there's things that I like. Um, they're, they're convenient, they're easy, uh, they pack really well, keep them all separated in a, a big Ziploc bag so they don't leak on my stuff. So it's always great to have condiments to, to spice up your ramen um, or other things that you're making. Another item that I just love to add um, when I'm out are these Honey Stinger waffles. These are fabulous for a pick-me-up. They taste great. Um, they have a good energy level to them. Um, just uh, they're a fantastic um, item and they pack really well. Of course, some forms of canned meat are good too. There's some Vienna sausages in um, hot and spicy sauce. Uh, sardines are a fantastic item to add to your preps. Uh, they keep a long time. Um, lots of protein. And then if, you, if you're lucky enough to live um, in an area that has an Asian market, I really suggest you go there and familiarize yourself with their products. They have some unusual stuff that's really good. Um, this is mackerel in a can. I also pick up more unusual flavors of ramen um, at the Asian grocery stores in my area. Now, of course, if you live in a big, a big city, these tend to be common, but in the smaller towns, rural communities, you're not going to have these. Um, but this just adds some variety to what I'm, I'm eating. And then, of course, you can get these, I think, at Kroger. This is the Shin Ramen Black, which is the super spicy, really good stuff. So a variety of different soups. And then another item uh, for cooking is some chicken broth. Um, you can get bouillon cubes, but these are actually flavor packets. And these are liquid. There's a, a liquid, um, I think they're liquid. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a broth concentrate. So there's little pouches in there and I can add that to soup. I can add that to meat or game if I'm hunting, um, and that will help make a stew or a soup. So having some um, bouillon or broth is a great item to throw in your in your in your preps. Um, item that runners um, are used to seeing are these shots, these cliff shots. There's a, a bunch of different brands of these, but these are a high energy. Um, 
shot that you that's kind of a gel that you put in your mouth these they have caffeine they have uh, just a, a variety of different sugars and things in it to get you going so nice convenient item to have throw in your pack um, another item that I like to have is some type of meat bar uh, I've been recently been trying these wag bars uh, these are um, actually a Wagyu beef um, bar. They don't have any um, artificial preservatives. Um, they are organic and they're a little bit more expensive, but the, the flavor is pretty good on some of these. And they have a, a variety of flavors. You can get those online on their website. Um, but I also carry um, more of the common meat sources or meat sticks. So we've got Jack Links, beef sticks right there. You know, your more traditional meat sticks. Uh, <clears throat> don't really care for the Slim Jims as much. They tend to be really high in sodium and they're not the best quality, but these are a higher quality meat stick that I found. There's the Jack Links again. So just having some of that stuff like jerky Another item that I think um, sometimes is overlooked um, is alcohol. Now, of course, alcohol uh, is a pick-me-up and a morale booster, but um, in the case of things like Everclear, it actually can be used as a fuel. Um, it can be used for a sterilization uh, purposes. Um, especially the clear alcohols, but just having some of these little bottles of alcohol um, are definitely a pick-me-up kind of thing. Um, kind of fun to have. You know, there's no reason not to have these unless you, of course, you strictly don't drink. That's fine. But regular coffee, uh, ground coffee. And these are a couple small options that I've picked up. I think someone gave this to me for my birthday. So this is the Jack Daniels coffee. There's some um, Starbucks in a little can, um, so I, I won't open this until I need it. Um, but I have means of making coffee without a coffee pot. Um, I can do that in my my cook pot, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, you can also do a pour over filter, um, which is a great thing to throw in your kit. So I always keep some regular coffee with me as an option. All right, so another um, item that you can carry. Um, in your kit uh, is these prepackaged meals. And these are what you would traditionally find at REI. These are used by backpackers and campers all over the world. Um, they are fantastic because they are a complete meal. Um, there are so many of these out on the market right now, a lot of good options. Uh, they are a simple way of cooking. You just um, add boiling water into the bag. Uh, close it up, let it set a usually anywhere from five to ten minutes, usually ten. Stir it up, and you have a delicious meal. And um, I have not tried this particular brand yet. These are the uh, the Alpine Fair, um, but they have really good um, flavors. I traditionally get Mountain House, and um, I don't have any Mountain House at the, at this time, so I've, I've been stocking up on these because I want to try these because they have some really just interesting different flavors. So this is spicy sausage, mayonnaise, uh, Kung Pao beef, grilled chicken pad thai, pork jambalaya. I mean, just really awesome stuff. And also I have some of these, uh, these old Coleman meals. Now these, they don't make these anymore, and these are pretty old. <laughs> um, they're way past their expiration, but they all they really are, are is macaroni of some sort of pasta with a dried seasoning packet, usually some kind of cheese mix. Um, so they keep a really long time, and um, I they're better than nothing. And I bought them on sale and clearance, and I've been I've been going through them for the years, but um, I still have some left. So those are definitely backups. Now, getting back to uh, protein sources and packaging, this is one of my favorites. Um, you can find this at Walmart. Um, it is a Mexican seasoned pork. Um, the shelf life on this, let's see. 
Okay, this is good till 3 of 24. So, got some time on this. Um, don't have to worry about this one too much, but man, these are fantastic. Heat this up in your pot, throw it on a tortilla with some cheese, and you've got a taco, man, and they're awesome. Um, of course, different types of protein energy bars. Cliff bars are kind of a standard. Uh, there are better options nutritionally, uh, but, you know, they're good to have. Uh, speaking of Mountain House, here's a little dessert. This is the Cheesecake Bites. Haven't tried these yet, but I'm going to. They look pretty interesting, so don't, don't discount not you know having dessert. You need to have some kind of sweets. Uh, that kind of stuff is a pick-me-up, and I think it's critical. Um, another item that I suggest you have in your kit... Um, are these liquid IVs. Um, these are a, um, a hydration multiplier and if you are dehydrated um, put this in um, one of your Nalgene's full of water and you have a delicious sweetened drink that is actually going to help with hydration. Way better than Gatorade. These are fantastic. Find these at Walmart now. They also have it on, on Amazon. A lot of different flavors. Watermelon is the best. Strawberry is probably the second best. Um, but uh, get a big bag of those and have those ready to go. Um, they, these go in all of my hiking kits and my bags that I want going out. I always have a few of these with me. Uh, more coffee options. These are more instant coffee options that just you know pour in uh, the package into some hot water and you got a hot co uh, cup of coffee. Also some tea. Um, a lot of people like tea. I'm not a big tea drinker, but I do have a few tea bags um, in my kit for other people in case they want them. Uh, another fantastic item you can find at your grocery store are the instant mashed potatoes from Idaho, uh, Idahoan. Um, they have a lot of different flavors. They're very easy to prepare. Um, should de and they're cheap. They're dirt cheap, like a, a buck something at the store, and they last a long time. So definitely pick up a bunch of these, throw them in your kit. Um, here is some iced tea, flavored iced tea packages. So you just dump that in your water, and you got some flavored water. So if you're treating water with iodine tablets or other ways of treating water, or maybe you're drinking from a well, um, it's good to have some flavory package just to help with the, fl the taste of the water. You always want to have uh, a variety of seasonings. I've got salt, pepper, I've got some garlic in here. Uh, there are some Old Bay um, individual packets that I found. Uh, just a variety of different um, seasoning packets that I've, I've collected over the years. Um, keep a bag of that so I can doctor up whatever I'm cooking uh, gives me some options. So, um, Snacks are important and um, trail mix is awesome. Um, it's high energy. Uh, it tastes good. has a, a variety of items in it like raisins and nuts and chocolate um, which are great pick-me-ups and just great energy sources. So if you can find these individual uh, trail mixes, that's great. Um, I like to have a few of these on hand as well. Of course, i got to rotate through these a little bit sooner. Uh, they don't last quite as long as the other stuff, but, um, you know, they're great to have. Of course, with all this food, you absolutely need some means of cooking it. So... That's really up to you how you want to do that. Everybody's got different options that they're comfortable with. Um, you know, it, you may want a Coleman stove um, if you're cooking for a family because it has several, it has a couple burners and it has a larger fuel source. Um, one thing for myself that I like is are these um, gas canister stoves. Uh, this one is the um, Camp Chef Striker. It's very similar to Jet Boil, ranks very high um, on the internet. I've done some research on these. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, 
Um, but um, these kind of stoves are fantastic for a quick way of boiling water and then adding that to your dehydrated meals or making your ramen. You want to make sure that with these stoves that you have some of these canisters. Um, I suggest getting a bunch of them and storing them um, in a separate container. Um, you know, make a separate container that has your stove, has fuel bottles, um, has some plates, some bowls, uh, silverware, cups, collapsible cups, um, uh, a pour over coffee filter with some um, filters that go with it that fit it. Um, you know, a small cutting board, some knives, just general food prep gear. Um, you should have this anyway if you're a camper. Um, I keep a, a rubber main container filled with that kind of stuff, um, and that way when it's time, um, I know exactly where that stuff is. I'm not rooting around in my kitchen in the dark trying to find it now. One of the best options that I've found um, are these Rubbermaid Action Packers. These um, do not have a gasket on them, but they have a very good locking handle or locking lid like that. Um, they're very tough. They will not collapse. They won't dent. They will not um, bend. Uh, they're sturdy and they come in a variety of sizes. I like these smaller ones. Um, they're not cheap. They're definitely probably the most, one of the more expensive options for containers. Um, but if you get one that is this size, it's easy for one fella with this thing filled up to carry. If you get it too big, then it gets heavy. So I have several of these. These are always filled with my food and my kitchen gear. Just a great item to have. There are several companies on the market that um, sell these food containers. And basically what these are, are they're very similar to your mountain houses. They are a dehydrated um, food that you add water to. Um, but what um, this particular company, this is um, Valley uh, Food Storage. They um, prepackage in these very tough containers. But the thing is, with these meals, these are um, going to serve more than one person. The, so like this one here, this is Chicken Alla King. Um, it takes a lot longer to cook these. These are not quick. These, the, this one takes anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes um, cooking time um, once you add your boiling water. Um, and you're going to need a bigger pot and a bigger stove because this has five servings per pouch. Um, but um, like some of the other options that I showed you, <clears throat> this one is organic. Um, it doesn't have a bunch of preservatives um, in it. Uh, it has a lot of natural uh, ingredients. You know, everything I'm reading on the back here I can pronounce. There's nothing weird in it. There is, okay, we've got the Chicken Ella King. One. I've got um, freeze-dried bananas. Two. I've got Italian wild risotto. There's three. I've got strawberry oatmeal. That's ten servings in that pouch. That's four pouches. I've got maple brown sugar oatmeal. Ten servings in this one. We're up to five pouches. Apple cream of wheat. Ten servings in this pouch. We're up to six. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo, five servings in this pouch. Irish Pub Cheddar Soup, five servings. I'm losing count. Chicken Teriyaki, five servings. Freeze Dry Potato Dices, ten servings. And last one, Mac and Cheese. Five servings. So in closing with this video, my advice is um, get yourself a bucket uh, from a company. It can be Valley, it can be anybody else you choose. 
as a backup for true emergencies and then build a container um, of things that you're able to find at your grocery stores that your family likes um, or that you like and then you rotate through that use that throughout the year when you're camping hiking um, but also have it stocked so if there is an emergency you have more stuff than just that bucket and now you have a wide variety of items um, for every taste uh, in, your, in your household. Um, you're not going to be just eating MREs um, which are super expensive uh, weigh a ton, take up a lot of room. These are much easier, cheaper um, options um, that you and your family are going to love. So that's what I got for you today. As always, stay safe. Um, thank you for watching the video, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.